Okay, so far we've been looking at memories, which are very good for saving the state of a switcher. But let us say that instead of saving the state of a switcher, what we really want to save is a sequence of actions that we've taken. We can literally do that with something called macros. We just come here to, fi to the icon, file, macros window, and there it is. And using this is remarkably straightforward. Just push the record button and then press the buttons as you do things like that. Turn key layers on and off. You can change your transition if you like. Let's go to the CG and perhaps change that or go to the clip store and perhaps change those. But the main thing is, is you'll see here, I'll stop the recording. I won't bother saving this, even though it is a masterpiece. Um, you'll see that it basically recorded everything that we did along with the necessary time that I took between each step. And, um, for example, took a note of when I was changing my CGs, when I was setting my clips. And this list of actions is editable. So, for example, if I didn't want this to last 19 frames, I could say, no, I really wanted it to wait 24 frames before it took action. And let's say instead of input 3, I really meant to go to input 5. Let's say that here for the CG, instead of going to that CG, I actually meant to go to a different one, let's say this one. And it even gives me a picture icon here of which CG I had picked. Same thing goes for the clips. I can sit there and I can pick a different clip just by going, say, like that. Very, very useful feature. It's very easy to edit. And also, you can then play it to see exactly how it comes about. So now if you look here at our switcher panel, you'll see that as this steps through all of the different steps, that the switcher uh, reflects the change. Perhaps it would be a little better if I start from the beginning with the panel showing. Let's quickly do that. There we go. And um, here you see how preview is changing as I switch to it. And then I got a little slower there. Um, what this macro is particularly good at doing is doing things like, for example, show openings. You can, make a, you can make it that when you press a button that the automatically play a clip, dissolve to a camera, uh, program the camera with a preset. In other words, swing the camera around, zoom in on the talent, put their lower third up just as it's zooming in on the talent, perhaps putting a particular graphic over their shoulder just like that, all with one particular button. And these buttons can be put into these buttons here as if they were memories. And some of our panels even have an extra row of buttons here. So you can choose these memories and macros as if they were sources. Very, very nice feature. And as soon as I can talk Tony into hooking up a remote control camera to this particular system, I'm going to make a, video, uh, a training video that shows how that works.